everyone in this video we are going to talk about acceleration due to gravity which is denoted by the letter small g now in the previous video when we have discussed about the free fall we said that the freely falling body is the one which is moving only under the action of the gravitational force of earth with no other forces acting on it and in that case we call the body to be under free fall or it is the body which is freely falling now in that case we have looked at a ball which was dropped from the top of a building and when this ball was dropped from the top of a building it seemed to fall down to the ground and hit the ground now in this case we see that the direction in which the ball moves down is constant throughout its motion but what about the velocity or the speed of the body the speed of the body actually changes throughout its motion so the velocity goes on changing throughout its motion i mean uh, from the top to the surface of the ground the motion that the body had in the whole time during the whole time its velocity was changing because of the change in the speed of the body since there is no change in the direction of the body the speed is the only factor which is responsible for the change in velocity of this body in this case now whenever we come across a change in velocity the change in velocity is always accommodated with acceleration which means that whenever a body is undergoing a change in velocity we say that the body is accelerating with a particular acceleration so this body which is moving down to the surface of the earth has a particular acceleration which with which it was moving now when this acceleration comes into picture whenever there is a force which acts on a body a force that force produces acceleration in a body now what is this force here which is producing this acceleration in the freely falling body it is none other than the gravitational force which is the only force which is acting on the body which is falling down towards the surface of the earth now since this acceleration is due to a specific force which is the gravitational force we call this acceleration to be the acceleration due to gravity so this is the name given to the acceleration in this case and we denote this acceleration by a symbol a letter which is small g now this acceleration is the same uh, same like the normal acceleration and has the same si units which is meters per second squared so we measure g also in terms of meters per second squared only there is a difference between the symbol and the name because it it occurs because of a particular force which is the gravitational force now let us learn something more about this acceleration due to gravity now this acceleration due to gravity has a particular value at a certain height above the surface of the earth now near the surface of the earth we can uh, take it as constant and it has a constant value and which the value which we can calculate from an expression and we can also derive that expression and calculate the value of the acceleration due to gravity for any object in this universe so let us find what is the expression for the acceleration due to gravity so let us do that now we will be doing this calculation or this uh, deri derivation using two things that is the newton's second law of motion and the universal law of gravitation so from the newton's second law of motion we have the formula for force to be f equals m into a so here the force is given by the product of mass and acceleration but here we know that the acceleration is solely due to gravity which is the acceleration due to gravity so here we'll be replacing this a by g so this becomes f equals m g now we have something else which is the second thing the universal law of gravitation now from universal law of gravitation we have the expression for gravitational force as f equals g m m by d squared so here 
this is the expression which refers to the gravitational force and also here the expression for force this force also refers the gravitational force we are looking at the same force through two different per perspectives that is one because of the newton second law of motion and the other one is the universal law of gravitation now here in this expression capital m is the mass of the earth d is the distance between the object and the earth and small m is the mass of the object under consideration and g we know that it is the universal gravitational constant now when the object is near to the surface of the earth the distance d can be uh, taken as nearly equal to the radius of the earth so we'll be taking d as nearly equal to r so we can replace d with the radius of the earth that is r so on doing that and on equating these two equations which refer to the same force we get f equals mg which is equal to g m m by r square here we have we have replaced this d by the radius of the earth because it was nearly equal to the radius of the earth the distance between the object and the center of the earth is nearly equal to the radius of the earth so here this small m and small m on both the sides cancel out that is the mass of the object under consideration cancels out and we are left with this formula which is small g or the acceleration due to gravity equals g m by r squared so this is the expression using which we can calculate the acceleration due to gravity of any object in this universe now this is the expression that we have where small g is the acceleration due to gravity capital g is the universal gravitational constant capital m is the mass of the earth which we have taken here and here r is the distance between the center of the earth and the object or we have nearly taken it uh, taken it as r because it is nearly equal to the radius of the earth now using this formula we can calculate what is the value of the acceleration due to gravity of earth near to its surface so let us do that we know all the values in the right hand side of this expression that is g equals 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 newton meter square per kg squared mass of the earth it is already known which is 6 into 10 power 24 kg and the radius of the earth is also known which is 6.4 into 10 power 6 meters so on substituting all these values in the expression that we have just now derived we get g equals 9.8 meters per second squared so this is the value of the acceleration due to gravity of earth near the surface of the earth and this is the reason why since since this acceleration is constant we say we see that the heavier and the lighter objects fall towards the surface of the earth at the same rate since they have the same acceleration whose value exact value we have found out near the surface of the earth now let us look at this expression for a while and we notice a few peculiar things in this expression which are really important and those things are the first thing that we notice is that the value of g is independent of the mass of the object that is we do not see small m small m anywhere in the right hand side of the expression or anywhere in the expression itself which means that the value of g is independent of the mass of the object under consideration and that is the reason why the heavier and the lighter objects fall towards the earth at the same rate since this acceleration is independent of their masses so the value of g is independent of the mass of the object falling towards earth the other thing that we notice is that since in this expression g and m are constant g is the universal gravitational constant which is never going to change throughout this universe and m is the mass of the earth which is fixed and it will not change but this this r which is which uh, usually refers to the distance between the center of the earth and the object 
may change accordingly when the object changes its height or uh, since this may change so we have two things here in the expression which are constants that is g and m but r here is not constant that is the distance between the center of the earth and the object is the one which is variable in this expression so we can conclude that the value of small g the acceleration due to gravity will be only dependent upon the distance that is this distance of the object from the earth and we can figure out from this expression that how g varies with the distance of the object from the center of the earth and from this expression we see that g is inversely proportional to r squared or inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the object and the center of the earth so as this distance increases or it goes on increasing the value of g keeps on decreasing so if we have two objects one above the ground at 10 at a height of 10 meters and the other other object which is above the ground around 1000 meters above the ground then the acceleration from the, for these two balls or these two object objects will be different the one which is at a height of 1000 meters from the ground will have a value which is lesser than the one which is at the height at a height of 10 meters above the ground so that is how g varies with the distance of the object from the earth now earth is not a, a perfect a perfectly spherical in shape which means that these uh, i mean the poles at the poles the earth is somewhat flattened in other words it has a somewhat ellipse ellipsoid kind of shape or we can say that it is it is somewhat flattened at the poles or the north and the south pole now due to this what happens we'll see this here so let's say this is the equator of the earth and this is the distance uh, of the center of the earth to the surface of the earth so this is the kind of radius in this case towards the north pole and here we have another distance it is not the same distance that we had here since it it doesn't have a particular radius throughout since here we have a surface which is somewhat flattened this value of a is less than the value of b so here the distance between the center of the earth and the surface is less in case of poles and it is more in case of the equatorial region where the radius is the maximum so we have just now discussed that the radius or the acceleration due to gravity is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the center of the earth and the point of consideration so since this is inversely proportional g is inversely proportional to the distance we see here that in this case in case of poles that is in this region the acceleration due to gravity value will be maximum at both the poles since the distance is smaller as compared to the equatorial region where it is where the distance is maximum and here the distance is minimum and that is the reason why the acceleration due to gravity is maximum at the poles so objects which are here situated here and are dropped down will accelerate towards the earth with a greater acceleration as compared to the objects which are on the equator or equatorial region so since the radius is maximum in the equatorial region the value of g is minimum at the equator so this is what we conclude that acceleration due to gravity is maximum at the poles whereas it is minimum its value is minimum at the equator so this brings us to the end of this video and we have learned in this video about the acceleration due to gravity and we have found out an expression from which using which we can find out the acceleration due to gravity of anything and also we have seen that g is maximum at the poles of the earth and it is minimum at the equator we have also found out the value of the acceleration due to gravity at uh, near the surface of the earth which was approximately 9.8 meters per second square 
and we have also figured out that this value of g depends upon the distance of the object from the center of the earth. It varies according to the height of the object where it is kept or from where it is released. So with this we have come to the end of this video and I hope this video was fully understandable for you and it is helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.